Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm does this. Welcome or welcome back to another Pokemon Celebrations Road to Master Set. Today I'm going to be opening up this Celebrations Case of Mini Tins. I have opened one on the channel before, so I won't be going into full detail with this. If you want to see the full detail version, link will be in the description down below. So without further scooby ado, let's get it. I originally planned to keep this thing sealed as a display and as part of my collection, but I decided I want to open it. I need to get some celebrations pack opening fixed. And right now I haven't actually got any like products or anything to open until for a while. At least until I think the V Union collection comes out. Maybe unless there's restocks of um the Elite Trainer boxes. So this is gonna be my next Road to Master set episode. As much as I wanted to keep it sealed, as good as it looks, I just couldn't. Hopefully I can get my hands on another one for the sealed collection at some point, but if not, I'm fine with opening it. So let me just show you the first tin before I crack the rest of them open. I'll open the first tin for you guys, for a first time viewer. And then the rest I'll just speed through. For your Gen 1 tin, what you get inside is the Celebrations coin, Jumbo coin I guess. Yep, and then your little display card I guess. If you collect all 8 or if you have all 8, which case would give you, then you can make the full picture I guess of the thing. In the picture. All right, so and you get two celebrations, one darkness ablaze. So let me crack the rest of them open, and I'll be right back. So once you have opened up all eight tins, you get sixteen celebrations packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And you get eight darkness of blaze packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. So sixteen celebrations, sixteen darkness of blaze, and then you get your full display picture, I guess. If you want to call it that. Yeah. So without further scooby ado, let's get into the packs. Let me clear off. No, I'll leave it on there. Alright, let's start with darkness of blaze. Bring out my crystal ultra ball. That reminds me as well. As you would have known by now, or if you're new, of course my favorite Pokemon is Hound Doom. And I picked up this PSA 10 Hound Doom V full up from Darkness of Blaze. Now that I bought this, although it's a PSA, I bet you any money I'm gonna pull one out of these packs today in this video i would not mind the normal v version of it and that's what i'm gonna ask my crystal pokeball crystal ultra ball will i pull the houndoom v in my darkness ablaze packs I guess not. What I would like, really like to put is the hand in V in these packs. Let me just make some stuff in place. Let's see if Crystal Pulp Ultra Ball lies. Oh, and another thing. Um, let me just do this. But I have a few spare pull cards lying around, so. Every now and then, if I remember to, I'll throw them up for you guys. So this one's a Sword and Shield Battle Stars Elite Trainer Box. I had lying around. So, 
Lightning Energy, Demisir, Layer 1, Old PC, Heat Burst, Pestimian, Fetchling, Wimpod, Grimor, Reverse Light Pod, and a Mel Metal. Press Pet No Magic. Rise of VMAX. I've been itching to open something for a while and I haven't managed to get my hands on some more stock or anything celebrations related so I had this lying around and I thought you know what I had to open it Fire Energy Jupiter Doilus Fletchinder Simeon Final B Vanilla I think there should be some celebrations restocked sometime during this week so if I can I'm going to try to get my hands on something Trainer boxes, flag on, and we have a Vi Viperia V as our first hit. Not too bad, not too bad. Let's get you sleeved up. We go right there. Fusion Strike is also like two weeks away. Just under two weeks away, maybe. Fire energy. Adding energy. I'm not too sure if I'm gonna like open that set or go for that set. Not yet anyway. I might open up maybe one of each product on on the ch channel for you. Not sure yet. I don't think I'm gonna start. I need to finish Evolving Skies, which I'm waiting for stock to come through. And we have. Salamence V. Oh, very nice. I like that. One of my favorite Dragon type Pokemon. That's that's a good pull. So that's back to back these. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay, so. If you watch my other tin opening. As I can remember, I don't think I got anything, literally anything from the Darks of Blaze pack. And in this one, I've gotten two V so far, so not too bad. I like that, I like that. So this one might be a little bit kinder to me. So Reveal, Oilus, Jupiter, Jupiter, Carmary, Sub 2, Wimpod, Bonobie, Reverse Starly. Three back to back V's. Nice. Etern Eternatus V. Nice. I like that. Yeah, so Fusion Strike. But there's nothing really in Fusion Strike that's pulling me in. To be honest, that Celebi. I would like that Celebi, that full out Celebi for sure. The Genesec, the Muse, yes, the Gengar, Metal Energy, but I don't know. I'm not sure on it yet. Of course, maybe for the channel again, I might just get one of each product to open for you guys as a first experience, but I wouldn't be starting a Master Cell or anything anytime soon for that. And a Suicune Hollow, so not an ultra rare, but. The hollow, not too bad, not too bad. Three packs left. And let me throw up Battle Stars Victory in a box again. Darkness Energy, the way this, Fletching Low, Grave Postal, Spin It Right, Down Sweep, Down Sparse, Electric, Clearing Mr. Rhyme, the way this, Tox Toxtricity, Hollow. I think only one pack hasn't had anything in this so far. The rest have had either Ultra Rares or Hollows, which is not bad, not bad.
Psychic energy. See me. Then a Bravo. Key West. Turloin. Triple Quartus. Centre. La Vesta. Evil. And a Serena. There we go. There's our streak one. Last pet. Last pet. Okay, I guess I was wrong. Maybe I won't be pulling. Pull out Hound Doom after buying it. Here we go, a champion's path, full card. Water energy. Tox effects. Big parasol. Genotic. Genotic. Bullet. Gitty. Dino. Jigglypuff. Dance boss. Reverse vanilla. Vanilla. Full up, sizzle. Nice. That that was a perfect last pack magic on Darkness of Blaze. Oh yes. Very very nice. Full up, sizzle. Very 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 nice. I would take that as last pack magic. Yes. Perfect. Beautiful. Finally, after so long, I've been opening up all these packs and all of these, all of the regular Golden and Shield. That have always been pretty much duds. And this time I got three V's and a full art. Sizzle nonetheless. Sizzle is a nice bulk. Like one of my favourites as well. More so Cypher. But Sizzle is up there. And now we've got 16 celebrations. I have only two more to collect from a master set. And I think those two are going to evade me for so long. Um, image. Or what I need left will be coming up on the left here. So, and that's why I did this Road to Master Set series. See how long it's going to go for. I don't know how long I'm going to go for. As long as I can get product. And, um. Depending on when I decide to buy singles if I do. Decide to buy singles. Because that could go on by the time. Oh, shit. The mana products I can open by the time I even showed you the gold card, right? Yeah, I did. Pazinius. Yeah, by the time I open the man. First pack magic. Birthday Pikachu. Not too bad, not too bad. And then we have a flying Pikachu V Max. Double gun on first pack. I like that. Are these mini tins going to be blessing me with that magic today? I'm heavy. Don't know. I think I bang my mic like 10 times now. Sorry if you guys can actually hear that. Champion spot full card. There you go. Yep, yeah, I don't know how long it's gonna take. Don't know how much product I'm gonna be able to get for it. So some point it might be cheaper just for me to actually buy the Mew and uh, Mew to itself as a single. As much as I'd love to actually just chase it, and pull it. I'm sure, I'm nothing in this one. Mew. We'll see. We'll see. Trick. So we got a Lugia, Xerneas, wow, another birthday wow. Pikachu, wow, Lunala, wow, two birthday Pikachus in three pack, wow, wow, I'll take that though, and again this one is bottom heavy. So how are you guys enjoying the celebrations run so far? Are you guys burnt out from it or not excited as anymore? Pretty much all the, much all the products, big products have come out. I was going to say I thought I was a double Cosmo in Professor's Research. Yeah, 
I mean, I think probably the hype's died down now since the Ultra Premium Collections come out, right? Maybe? Which everyone was waiting for. Which I actually managed to get my hands on one of them if you want to see that, link in the description. Which I can't believe I managed to get my hands on one of those, but... You can probably see as well there, I've got the two cards in the box right there. Right there, right there on the display. Xenius. There we go. Is that from... Pull out Pikachu. Toasty! Yeah, so let me know in the comments guys how much you're enjoying celebrations if you still are, if you stop, if you've actually managed to complete your master set. Let me know down below. Oh, pull out clock, pull out clock. Um classic clock. This one look nothing. Oh, this one looks weird than usual. I don't know. For some reason this one looks weird, more weirder than usual, and it's so glare. Like... Is it... It's more dull than it's supposed to be, isn't it? I'm sure it's supposed to be shinier than that. Or vibrant. No idea. Anyway. And if you guys are currently enjoying my celebrations content, I very much appreciate if you could leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on. Yeah. Oh my days, wow. Wait. I just want to have a finally pulled it. It looks a little bit bottom heavy, but I think I'll take that. Finally, I pulled one that can, I can actually put in a one-touch magnetic case and display for my collection. Is it? Yes. And a surfing Pikachu. Yep, it's definitely bottom heavy. But apart from that, I think it's perfect. Yes, this one is perfect. Which can go into a one-touch magnetic case now and be displayed alongside Blastoise. So the final one I need to double up on is this is probably I think this one is six one. It's my sixth Venusaur. Now I need a another Charizard, which probably isn't happening. I doubt it anyway. Champions Path, there you go. Lugio. Cosmo M. Palkia. Lunala. What the sleeve up? So from Pikachu. We have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, halfway now, halfway. 8 packs left, guys, 8 packs left. I don't think I'm gonna pull anything for the binder for the master set in this in this especially not that Mew. That Mew is gonna evade me for such a long time to come. Oh uh oh. Here comes the rocket and I pull out Pikachu. Look at the centering on that. Wow. My eight here comes team rocket, eight for ninth now. Kyogre Kyogre Let's go. <laughs> this, this mini tins opening is something else We pulled the Venusaur, two birthday Pikachus and the Shining Magic of Wow! Wow! That's the research My second one Perfect Centering is off I think I'll do bottom and left heavy. Yep, bottom and left heavy. But nonetheless, 
Shining magical. I would take that. Nice. Six left, six left. Come on, I just... Come on. Give me at least that Mewtwo EX. Give me just that Mewtwo EX at least. Lulio. Zekrom. Falcio. Mew. I can kind of live with not pulling Mew. For as long as it takes. I guess. Although I've seen so many people pull it so many times. But yet, I can't pull one. It goes without saying, I pull a Charizard, but I can't pull a Mew. The people that have pulled like 10 Mews have pulled no Charizards. Makes sense, right? What? That Mew to EX. How is that one evading me? Zernius. Play As we get into the fourth to last pack, I hope so, so good, not too bad in terms of pull rates. Kyogre, Groudon, Lugia, Surfing yeah. Pikachu. Surprisingly enough, I haven't pulled the full up professor's research yet. And we have a Sword and Shield Darkness of Blaze. Zekrom. Oh. -oh. Falcio. Pull out Pikachu. <laughs> Two packs left, two packs left. Looks like I am pulling one for the Master Set. So this Road to Master Set is going to be a dead end. On this video. We have another Darkness of Blaze. Xerneas. Oh. -oh. Zekrom and a Mew. Not the Mew that I want, but a Mew. Final pack, last pack magic, last pack magic. Channel me your energy, guys. Channel me your energy for that last pack magic. No! Fellow Earthlings, please listen! We need your energy now! Raise your hands up, I beg of you! Rashiram. Groudon. Cosmog and a Zession V. Wow, only one Zession V. No Zamazenta Z actually. So, this Road to Master set was a dead end on this one. Hopefully, on the next one, I can at least get something. So, let me do a quick recap. So, for a recap, we have from Darkness Ablaze, Salamence V, Rhyperia V. Eternatus V and a full art sizzle which is very nice. That is I think that's actually perfect for centering wise. Let me see the back. I didn't actually look at it when I first got it, but yes, that is a there's a bit of whitening of mine. Never mind. Move on, move on. Play all. Here comes Team Rocket, my like tenth one I guess. Pepper. Birthday Pikachu. Another one. We're gonna saw my seventh one, I guess. And probably the best part of this old mini tins case, shining magic pop. Which is left and bottom heavy. And there's your displays or your display picture from the case of mini tins. And on that note guys, until next time, if you stuck with me to the end, 
If you like the video, please leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on, and I will see you on the next.